Good morning. Welcome to Enlightened Fitness, where we'll use a, a, a approximately 10 minute workout to cultivate the body of a tantric sex god. And then we'll use a, today we'll use a 48 minute guided meditation to help cultivate the heart and mind of Buddha. So let's start with the physical fitness. One of my students wrote me to say that he recently acquired some do what I like to call door straps. And he, he acquired them by going on my website, well, using the links below this video to get to a page on my website where you could order them. Um, if you don't see links right now below your video, easy fix. Find the YouTube icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, give that a click or two. It should take you right there to a dedicated page on YouTube for this video. About an inch below the video, you'll find a button that reads Show More. Click that, and you'll see a whole bunch of links. So I'm going to show you how to set up your, uh, your door straps. Now, this is probably the least expensive equi equipment to uh, use for pulls, and it's wonderful for traveling. So as you can see, this, this is not technologically superior. What we have is a bunch of straps, and they go up. And they end in a bit right here. Can you see that? That can't fit through the crack of the door, obviously. So you put that over your door. Put it closed. Make sure it's all the way closed. You don't want to land on your tushy. So the question is, how long or short do you make the straps? What I do is I first measure it in relationship to my knee. And it's, it's about... Uh, 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 palms width above my knee. Now, for the fine tuning, let me put the camera back, try not to get too seasick. Okay. The key to the fine tuning is this. On one hand, you want to be able to get the straps as long as possible, but on the other hand, when you extend your arms and relax your back, you don't want the back of your back, also known as the scapula, to touch the carpet. That way you have full range of motion. Now, this is not brain surgery or rocket science. If you make a mistake, the fate of the known world does not hang in the balance. So let's not be too uptight about it. Let's play with it and notice the results. And in time, you might make other distinctions. Now, let's move on. Today we're going to use the Jim Boss Timer. It's important, it's super important that you warm up. Please don't skip this step. Let's warm up together. Let's first warm up by doing beginners reverse lunges. We do them on the, on the balls of our feet. There you go. If you have to choose between straightening your leg all the way back or really going all the way down, it's the going down that you want. That's what really engages your tush as well as your quads. Okay, now let's do skipping lunges. Let's do jumping lunges. Woof! I should break a sweat. Let's move on to crawling press. Let's start with beginner's level. Knees and hands. Now 
let's do intermediate style, hands and feet. Now, let's do advanced, which is elevated hands and feet. Let me push this coffee table out of the way. Okay, woof, now let's warm up with some flying V's, we'll do the beginner's one with bent legs. And try not to touch your... Now we're going to do the advance with locked legs. Excellent. Let's conclude with pulls. Today we'll pull with our palms up. Let's start with beginners with the balls of our feet underneath our tush. Now let's do intermediate with the balls of our feet below our knees. Now let's straighten those legs and do advance with the legs locked. Such a workout. Good. Now we're breathing deeply and we're warmed up and we're raring to go. These high intensity intervals, we're going to use 10 seconds of rest followed by 20 seconds of effort for 20 rounds or a total of um, 10 minutes. Let's begin with the first circuit with lunges. Okay, how about some crawling press? Okay, flying V's. Okay, let's do some pulls.
seconds, second. Lunges. Whoops. Got to adjust Skype real quick. Crawling press. Okay, prepare for calling crawling press. Flying V. Okay, let's get ready for some pulls. Okay, third second. Let's do some lunges. Okay, let's do some crawling presses. Okay, flying V's. Okay. Let's do some pulls. Okay, let's do some lunges. Presses. 
crawling presses. Okay, flying these. Okay, let's do some pulls. Do some lunges. I think this is the fourth circuit. Let's do some crawling presses. Let's do some flying V's. Okay, it's just for fun, let's do a final set of pulls. Whoops, let's try that again. Okay. Okay, let's sit on the tush and let's do some guided meditation. Okay, if you can, let's sit in half lotus. Okay. Water, beverage of choice. Okay. Whew. We're going to start with a preliminary practice. The fourth set of preliminary practices designed to give make your posture support your bliss. Woof. Today my hair looks like...
Julius Caesar. Next time you see me, it'll look like Captain Picard. Okay. Guy is Julius Caesar. That's it. Okay. So, left hand in lap, palm up. Right hand in lap, palm up, thumbs do not touch. Okay. Y pull head, chain ray zig. I assure you this is completely different than when your uncle used to say, pull my finger. Completely different. Okay. Chin raise zig, jaw relax. Wear tongue tip, chain ray zig. And you can close your eyes all the way unless you're concerned about falling asleep. Then you can open them halfway. The nice thing about working out right before meditation is that you are full of endorphins and it makes falling asleep very difficult. <laughs> okay. Why grin now? Chain Ray Z. Okay, our first set of preparatory practices was from the Chag Chain's mystical path of recreational meditation. Our next set of preliminary, preliminary contemplations come from Lom Rim's intellectual path of medicinal meditation. We're now going to play with the four contemplations of love. Why are all more than me? I'm sorry, yes. How are all more than me? Why give joy, chain, ray, zig? Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. We are now going to explore two sets of the Chad Chan's mystic path of recreational meditation. We're going to play with the first set of contemplations known as the sex tip elective of the central channel yogas. Where crown wheel relaxing.
where Crown Ohm releasing. Ohm ease. Crown drop sink down to throat. Throat drop sink down to heart. Heart drop sink down to nave. Nave drop sink down to seek. Seek drop sink down to tip. A tip is short for sex tip. It refers to either the most sensitive part of the penis or the most sensitive part of the clitoris. Where tip wheel releasing. Where tip bay relaxing.
Bay is. So let's play with a three-phase breath, where it's in-breath, out-breath, pause-breath. We're still working with bay ease. Tip, drop, climb, up to seek. Seek, drop, climb, up to name. Nave, drop, climb, up to heart. Heart drop, climb, up to throat. Throat drop, climb, up to crown. Wear crown wheel releasing. Wear crown ohm relaxing. Grin to Om, relaxing. Om, ease.
Now let's perform the Mahamudra of awareness and letting go. What feeling? Releasing. What hearing really sing? What seeing really seeing? Noticing really seeing. Into this relaxing. This is Okay. With a minimum, with a minimal amount of guidance, let's relax into the next set of approximately forty-eight breaths. 
I take that back. That's not quite correct. It's closer to 108 breaths. Grin, grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. I misspoke. It's closer to 432 breaths. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Math. What a concept. <laughs> Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing, releasing. Grin to this, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing, releasing. Really 
by hearing, really seeing. What feeling releasing? Grin to this, relaxing. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy. Relaxing. What seeing, really seeing. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. But seeing, releasing. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing, really seeing. Grin to this, relaxing. Grin to all, relaxing.
Give all joy, relaxing. Joy is What thinking, releasing, grin to all. Letting go. In through nose, out through pores. Take, yuck, smoke, give joy light. Yuck, joy. What thinking really seeing? Grin to this relaxing. Grin to all, 
relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. Joy is. What's seeing? Really seeing? Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing, releasing. Grin to this, relaxing. We've just completed our first set of 108 breaths. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing.
but seeing, releasing, grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing? Releasing, grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. Noticing, releasing. Grin to all, letting go. Give all joy. Relaxing. What thinking, releasing. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What thinking, releasing.
rinse you all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing, releasing. What hearing, releasing. What seeing, releasing. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What feeling, releasing. Get, grin to you all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. Noticing, releasing. Grin to all, relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing.
What's seeing? Releasing. Grin to all. Relaxing. Give all joy, relaxing. What seeing? Releasing. Grin to all. Relaxing. Give all joy. Relaxing. So you've got the basic idea now. We give love and relax. Ideas pop in our head. We recognize them, release them, smile, relax, and return to the main practice of giving joy. When your mind moves and notices something, that's not a failure. That's an opportunity to heal the mind. By noticing, releasing, grinning, and relaxing. Our job is not to force ourselves to concentrate on love to the exclusion of others, but to gently intend love while we're waiting for something to manifest. Rigid con concentration can give birth to aggression and cranking. Gentle intention gives birth to joy and peace. Let's continue. This time without my guidance.
Okay, let's gently open her eyes. Come back to the our here and now. In a world that teaches dog eat dog and fear and resentment, it can be refreshing to spend time giving joy and letting go. Let's untie the heart's knots. Please sit erect and lace your hands behind your back. Please twist to the left. Why give love, she raise it. Please reverse. Chin raise it, give all love. Back to second. Uh, center. Hands in left, laced, swinging them out and over. Bend to the left. Like a piece, chin raise it. Please reverse. Chin raise it, give all peace. Back to the center. Make a way into downward facing fetal position, also known as child's pose. Chin raise it, give wisdom. Fists, press blanket. Return to a sitting posture, known as sitting samurai or lion's pose. Please lace your hands behind your tush, open your chest, drop your head, roll your eyes up, and gaze through your eyebrows to the wall or the ceiling. What feeling? Letting go. What hearing? Letting go. What seeing? Letting go. Release our hands. Let's cup our palms and press them before our heart. Relax the shoulders, twist to the left. Why give joy to my zig? Back to center. I used to have many problems with my SI joint. Those problems were reduced by performing this set at least two to four times daily. Relax your shoulders, twist to the right. Chin raise it, give all joy. Back to the side. Let's make our way into the cat cow asana. We're going to keep her jaw open and relaxed. Chin raise it, give comfort.
Let's stand up. Let's put our weight on the balls of our feet. Subtle bend in the knees, hips thrust forward, hands laced behind the tush. Chest open, head dropped, eyes rolled up, gazing through the eyebrows towards the ceiling or the wall. Noticing, letting go. Let's release our hands. Let's do two sets of 12 phase sun salutation. By this virtue may I now accomplish. The spontaneous, habitual, easy and effective mastery of Buddha's mental yoga of devotion, awareness, love, and letting go. And now lead every living being, without exception to this ground. May everyone be healthy, wealthy, and happy. May everyone practice skillfully and joyfully. May everyone accomplish and then help many others do likewise. For truly that is the meaning of life. Omani Padme Hum. Let's perform two repetitions of Vietnamese inspired bows. May I always be cared for throughout all my lives by the Buddha of action, oopsie, by the Buddha of compassion emanating as my kind teacher. And as such may I always enthusiastically and joyfully tread this excellent path praised by the conquerors. Okay, my friends, that's today's class and guided meditation. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you feel very relaxed and centered and resourceful. I hope you, hope, I hope you feel a little bit joy, more joyful, a little bit more peaceful. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Omani Padme Hum. Before you go, I wish to remind you to find the, the like button and give that bad boy a click. And then click the, um, what's it called? The social network buttons, the share buttons. Lastly, find the subscribe button, give that a click. Make your way to the YouTube homepage. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll find a tab that reads manage subscriptions. If you click that, look up Lama Jigme or Tantric Sex God One. Um, you'll find a box to the right. Give that a click, put a check in it, and you'll be sure to receive an email notification every time I upload another video. One of the links below the video will help you to register for the next series of weekly webinars. When does the next one begin? Monday the 7th of January. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.